this is a touchy subject, but most of you are shooting yourselves in the foot and you don't even know it. A lot of people or a lot of artists think that one music distributor is better than the other music distributor. So the job of your music distributor, and this is all, everyone does the same job. There is no better service because they essentially do the same thing. They take your music, they make sure that the metadata is correct, they make sure that the size of your artwork is correct, and they simply forward it to stores. Stores being the likes of Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, and approximately 150 other stores. Some of these stores um, are the parent companies for the likes of TikTok, Facebook, um, Facebook, Instagram, all some of these names that you may never know. At that point, if you get any streams, if you make any sales, the stores collect that money and they forward that money to your music distributor, who in turn either takes a cut or doesn't touch it and sends that money to you. Now, this is all, you also have to remember that out of the six copyrights that you get, or the six ways of making money from each song, streaming royalties is only one of them. When music distributors tell you that you keep 100% of your royalties, that's 100% of one of the royalties that you collect. So the other five that have nothing to do with your music distributor, you still collect on your own. But I'll have to tell you how to do that. Now, this is where a lot of artists shoot themselves in the foot. Do you pay for the service or do you look for a free or do you look for the same services for free? I chose free. Right, so the reason that I chose one RPM is because they are free across the board. There is no tier system. There is no, you enter for free, and then if you decide to upgrade your, upgrade your account, you can now do X. Or if you upgrade again, you can now do X and Y. All these music distributors already know that you need all the services for your music. They know that you need X and Y, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So they trick you into signing up for free or signing up at a very minimal cost. And then once you learn the ropes, you are going to need to upgrade or you are going to want to upgrade. You are going to want to upgrade for simple things like analytics or being able to set a release date for your song. Boom! Setting a release date for your song is the most important part of all of this. Because if you cannot set your own release date, it's pointless using a service. I'll say that again. If you cannot set your own release date, it is totally pointless putting your music out. The only way that your music is going to find success is if you promote your music. Music promotion is a whole other ball game. It's the most difficult aspect of all of this, but it also encompasses or a big chunk of the responsibility of how well your song does is actually setting a release date. I used to set my song, okay, so when I first joined DistroKid, I joined at the basic level. They got my songs into basically two stores in two to three days. And the other 150 stores, or the 100, 140 other stores, came into existence in about three weeks following that. Because that's how long it really takes for your release to go worldwide. Minimum of three weeks. Minimum of three weeks. So when I got my music into stores in two to three days, it would not be available worldwide. So when I'm promoting my songs on Instagram and so forth to my friends around the world, many of them did not see that release until weeks later. If you have the ability to set your release date, that simply means that now you can tell your friends 
So my new release is going to be available on the 30th of January. But I know that I have to upload on the 1st of January to make it available on the 30th because I'm setting my release date. That's what I used to do. Now I'm actually going two months in advance. So I will upload on the 1st of January and my release date is now going to be February 30th. I'm giving myself two months because in those two months I need to email like crazy all the music blogs that I deal with, all the radio stations I deal with, all the online radio stations that I deal with. I have to give them the song months in advance to see who and when they are available to post so that when my song drops, everybody can have articles or I can have radio interviews set up. Let's say I could have 10 blogs out simul simul simultaneously, simultaneously or simultaneously, simultaneously featuring my release. This is one of the strategies that major record labels use. But we independent artists need to see our release in stores as quickly as possible so we can show our friends and look at it. But that's about to change. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me at tiedikitty.com or you can leave a comment below. Below. Just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. I read all my messages. I respond to all my comments. Come see me soon. Peace.